What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Dragon Ball Legends video on Dragon Ball Central. Today, guys, we have got a huge new update to talk about. There is so, so much to discuss, ranging from the good to the bad to the in-between. But, guys, today we have got this sucker right here, the Legends Rising banner featuring Super Janemba and Super Gogeta. We're just going to hop right into it. Let's just do it. So guys, let's go ahead and hop into our YOLO summon for the Legends Rising banner. Again, statistically, I, I want to say roughly about 250 of you guys watching this video, based on how much views I suspect it's going to get, will get one of the five sparkings. About 50 of you will get PyCon in your, in your first summon on this banner. So uh, that's actually kind of a horrifying thought. But we're going to just hop right in. Not looking so good right now. Not looking too hot. We've got a lot of Chrono Crystals to spend, though. We can do about 50 summons here. I'm not... I'm not all too concerned that we didn't get anything good out of that one. Cabo, you know, we're, we got the four-star limit break. Whatever, man. We'll take it, I guess. That's fine. Uh, we're going to actually do our YOLO summons on the other banners real quick. So we got Master Pack 1. Um, again, you know, there's a few things that I do want out of this. Uh, we're just going to skip through it, actually. It's not looking too promising. That's... Not today. Not today. Not today. Nope. 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 All right. Onwards. Ultra Space Time Summon number five. We got a little bit under two weeks left on this one. I'm actually still wanting some stuff pretty significantly here. It's a one potter. We're going to skip it real quick. And it will be a Dodoria. So uh, nothing too great out of our YOLO summons today. With that said, we have 5,086 Chrono Crystals to spend. Um, I, I'm pretty focused on getting either Janemba or Gogeta or both. Now, I was told by Bebop, shout out to Bebop, fantastic player, fantastic content creator. Definitely check him out if you haven't already. But uh, I was told by Bebop, he says, Chicken, you're going to get him in your first or second multi. That's what Bebop said. He got it. He, I don't know where he got it from, but he got it from somewhere. He knows. He knows. So uh, we'll hop right in and I will credit Bebop right now if, uh, if we do end up pulling him in these first two summons. We're going to grab a 5-potter right off the bat. No guarantees yet, but the Super Saiyan 5-potter, I mean, that is looking pretty promising. I'm not going to lie. We're going for the good neutral clash, and that's going to be big red text. Again, guaranteed extremer above. It's going to be an overpower. That is a guaranteed sparking, guys. Come on. Come on. You, you, got, you got a 2 and 5 shot here making me a real happy dude. A real happy dude. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We got Pan. We got Goku. Bebop is a legend, my man. Are you serious right now? Super Gogeta out of the first multi in the banner on Legends Rising, no less. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I cannot believe my luck today wow dude you guys don't even know okay a lot of you guys don't follow me on twitter you should if you don't but uh guys guys on on twitter i talked about this a little bit but i'll, I'll just reiterate here for the uninformed i woke up this morning and uh it was like three hours earlier than my alarm i just hop on discord and maintenance is finished and everything i got up and got recording to uh, get the video out early, you know, we got we got my uh, my my subconscious mind looking out for my ad revenue. I can appreciate that. My God, dude, what a summon to start things off! Oh my God, oh my God, dude. I mean, we're gonna keep going. Don't get me wrong. Um, I might do two more instead of the five I was originally going to do. Main reason being because we know other stuff is in the pipeline. I want to save for Gotenks, so uh, we'll see what happens. But I want Janemba as well. I really want Janemba as well. So let's see what happens. But oh my god, what a way to start things off with an absolute bang. We're going to start off again. Uh, this one going to be a base form 3 Potter. Are you kidding me right now? Really? Really, Cam? You're, you're going to choose now to glitch out on me? Come on. Come on. Work with me. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys just missed my reaction, that would suck. Um, yeah, my camera's been glitching out a little bit. I apologize. God dang it, man. That sucks. What a way to screw with a uh, otherwise fantastic looking video. But we're going to get overpowered there. We've got the guaranteed extremer above, but nothing else really. Second form Frieza. We've got Captain Ginyu. We've got an extreme. It's going to be a TN. 
whatever i mean i guess we'll take it hero cyberman moving into a hero pan moving into a master roshi hero as well android 20 no sir no sir that's not what we're looking for hero cyberman android 20 kaba all right so not the best second summon now could this be the build up for the third summon very well could be so that's exactly what we're gonna do right now we're gonna do a third summon and i think that's gonna be it for this video guys but i cannot believe what is up with my luck right now five potter five potter base form i haven't seen one of those in a long time dude it's gonna be a good neutral clash big text all right so we're not looking bad right now we are not looking bad at all and we're gonna blow up in the middle so no guarantees on a sparking at this point gonna be a guaranteed extreme rebuff but you know we already knew that from the pods um extreme will be napa um i i really gotta i really gotta say something about the banner right now it's an okay banner the sparkings are good it's still got the uh 0.8 percent chance of pulling a specific extreme i don't like that at all man i don't like that at all man if we don't pull anything else i'll be fine i don't even care i don't even care it's like whatever dude whatever dude you could just you could just say <laughs> we're taking your chrono crystals you get nothing and i'd be like all right bandai you know what you gifted me you gifted me here i'm not i'm not gonna complain dude and to end things off we're gonna grab a limit break on hard virus goku not the good one but you know or the not the not the slightly more than mediocre one now he's been essentially killed by this update but we'll talk a little bit more about that in a future video with that said guys um i want you to go down first off go down to the comment section below and uh let me know what you, what did you get off of your summons how much did you spend did you get super gogeta did you get janemba and uh guys let's go ahead and actually go over super gogeta right now because he is an absolute monster actually here we're gonna go ahead and start up his training real quick because i want to make sure that i max him out as soon as physically possible so we can get you guys some awesome gameplay with him i'm super excited about that but uh yeah that is what a great way what a great way to start things off you know i'm not too beaten up about not getting janemba from this summon mainly because you know my main focus was gogeta i have the saiyan team he goes on i have all of the core components to it I definitely will be able to put put together a meta Saiyans team. You know, uh, I think that goes without saying that uh, I, I don't have I don't have cell. I don't have perfect cell, so uh, I, I can't really use um, I, I can't really use the uh, the Janemba here to his best ability. I do have Demon King Piccolo, which is obviously on the Regen team. I got him maxed out, and uh, we will be playing him in the future. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and check out Super Gogeta. I haven't looked too much into him. So uh, first off, I know that his stats are stupid high over 60,000 strike attack without any buffs or anything like that so that's actually pretty nuts um and then about, I think it was 56,000 blast attack which is just dumb powerful uh again you know going back to the other examples here he, he's not gonna be the best of the best necessarily just purely based off of his stats I mean he still is like the best of the best based purely off of his stats he's like right up at the top but um yeah guys actually he's been totally power creep let's be real here he's got the strike arts cards already going to be a huge advantage because uh that goes with bardock very very well so uh you know you already have a huge advantage like that um he's red which you know that's that's actually pretty dope um that goes very very well on that team as well very nice color coverage even if he was like green or yellow or something that was a little bit more awkward to integrate into the current core it wouldn't have been that big of a deal but red is actually just perfect shuts down obviously kid trunks and uh you know also shuts down demon king piccolo which is going to be something that you increasingly see if people start pulling janemba and uh leveling him up because he's also absolute gold um so uh yeah main ability going to be judgment ultimate arts card very excited to see that one we'll go ahead and show that off in a second uh restore own health by 20 percent really really awesome main ability guys ultimate arts card and 20% health restore not to mention that it's only a 20 cost ultimate arts card so uh all around I mean it, it's like there's nothing to balance him out there he basically he draws an ultimate arts card and he heals himself amazing okay already amazing his health is really really good so that's also going to be somewhat valuable and, and good to take into account with that said uh you also have the Z ability fusion warrior base strike attack buff now obviously we don't have any others other than super Gogeta at this point with that said uh we will be getting fusion warriors very very soon obviously ultra space time summon number six going to be rolling around soon and we will be getting one with that with go tanks 
obviously vegito again going to be coming sometime in the not too too distant future i would imagine and he will also have the same tag which is funny to me because a lot of people were saying there's no way these guys would synergize they would not make gogeta and vegito synergize they always split them up and uh, i i thought i thought for sure that that was the right way of thinking but i'm not so confident of that anymore and now we got ultimate fusion which actually has spawned just like a ridiculous amount of upset people that are like oh my god dragon ball legends is taking a stance on which is the better fusion that is so upsetting you know they're like freaking out about it i think that's hilarious man i love both of them equally um i i have to say i like the the mechanics in dokkan I, I have to favor vegito but uh you know gogeta and vegito both have a special place in my heart due to the way that uh i, I guess i was brought up you know watching a lot of dragon ball and uh, i like both of them you know i watched a lot of dragon ball i watched all the way through dragon ball gc on the toonami run that it had so uh you know i definitely think that uh they're both really really fantastic in hindsight you know as a uh, nostalgic thing so you know i'm not I, I have no dog in this debate but yeah i thought that was pretty funny uh but yeah plus 10 percent to own strike arts damage for 10 timer counts upon landing a strike art so he's immediately going to buff himself in combo which is insane and then the same to blast arts which is important to note because he's just really good offensively all around and then i'll avenge you now this is important to note as well uh plus 20 percent damage inflicted for each downed ally that's awesome that means that as he gets to the end game here he's going to be more and more relevant with that said also kit restoration going to go up by a whopping 50 percent starts out at 2231 which is already pretty freaking high uh it's going to be going up by 50 percent boosting it to over 3000 actually like 3200 or something like that i can do basic math um yeah like 3350 actually so uh yeah the key restore is going to be absolutely ridiculous there once PyCon is defeated now will PyCon be on the main team for Gogeta I don't know I honestly don't know guys it's very very possible that he uh he doesn't actually make it on the main team which is something that's bizarre to say but if people are actually able to use Gogeta and just steamroll every opposition again with a sidestep nerfs we might be seeing that here it's very very possible that he just absolutely dominates the meta with very little opposition other than possibly you know the hybrids and then restore based teams um I, I do think it's very possible that we do see uh PyCon included on the team if that's the case but again we're gonna have to see how these changes in the PvP system in the combat system in general and how uh how he sort of stacks up as far as his overall stats and everything are concerned if he's actually that dominant then it very well is possible that we literally just have PyCon on the team maxed out to do what he can and then sacrifice himself because then we get that massive key restore and that's going to mean some great 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 damage great combos and uh also making it so you know you recover from I guess already uh you, you know if you've already gone through a combo you recover a little bit quicker so all around pretty insane stuff there now uh let's actually let's head over to his uh his animations here because I, I want to show those off real quick you know um all right so let's actually see this we've seen the first one obviously from the Twitter and stuff I don't really want to show that off but we'll go ahead and show off this ultimate arts because I want to see how that looks all right all right dude that is a sick animation all right man that oh my god oh my god I love this game so much dude such a fun game man such a fun game but like I oh man I can't believe I got the thing I wanted without without breaking my wallet and just like murdering it in front of the camera literally like picking up my wallet and just beating it to death on camera live for you guys like that is literally what I did for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan banner again we spent over well over 20,000 chrono crystals on that banner to finally pull Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and I was just I was just so sad by the end of that that was a despair arc if I've ever seen one in this community um but guys we got Gogeta no less uh prof 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 proselytize prof profit I don't I don't know how you say it anyways the prophet bebop came down from the heavens and gifted us this Gogeta so uh go ahead and thank him for me by subscribing to his channel link will be down in the description below I cannot believe I cannot believe that he actually 
just just like a prophet just was like chicken i've been i've been told i've been i've been given the divine intervention here and chicken they told me one thing they said chicken that you would get gogeta in your first or second multi and i was like bebop i don't know man i don't know man that doesn't seem too likely you know my track record and he's like no chicken no you will get the gogeta in your first or second multi it will happen i know this i've been told and i i doubted him i will never doubt you again bebop thank you so much <laughs> thanks to thanks to you guys for watching thank you bandai for blessing me on this this fantastic fantastic early morning i really cannot say enough how much i appreciate it i hope you guys all enjoyed this one as much as i did i don't know if that's physically possible but if it is i hope you did again let me know what luck you had down in the comment section below i will see you very soon for some uh, some action featuring kojita which i'm super super excited about and uh, until the next one guys have a fantastic fantastic day again i i just i'm shocked man i will see you in the next one till then peace